All right, guys, I'm going to walk you through the uh, car show area right here at uh, Memphis International Raceway. Uh, we'll see if we can get up to the line and uh, look at some stuff up there, but uh, be a little loud with the cars going, but kind of sad that this track is closing down uh, end of May, I think is when it's done. So, uh, yeah. Last, uh, last event for me here. Hang on, I gotta look at this X body. But yeah, it does suck. This track I've been coming to since the late 80s as a pro gas racer and to think this is the last event for me at this track is awful. Drag week was supposed to come through here this year. Power tour was supposed to start here this year. Now it's all gone, dead. So I'll walk you through the car show. Uh, that's a good question. Remember last time we missed him because of the sponsors. Yeah, Sean Bellinger had to, yeah. yeah. I don't know, we will see. I haven't seen so yeah, Sean I hate Bellinger to keep harping on it, but so, watching uh, this track go away, it really does suck. Here, I'm sure. Is there a reigning champion here? Two times in a row. It is two times in a row. So we've mentioned we only have four repeat champions in the history of the Midwest Track Racing Series. Would you consider that this is our you know, fifth year and across the fifth class? Pretty color on that Nova. It's like all the Nova guys parked next to each other. Thanks, man. Six or sixty-seven. I would love to own one again. Beautiful car. Yeah, it's hard to just imagine that this uh, that this track is shutting down, but it is. And if you're an F body guy, it looks like here they all are. Hey. Once again, that's Yankee Garage. 
Oh, and he had to ruin it with an automatic. Oh, well. Good weather for this today, thankfully. It's low 80s and breezy. No, I'm not not from Memphis. I just live here now. Oh, that LT fits in there nice. Swapped on all the. They swapped out all the interior too. That's beautiful. <laughs> yep, Millington. We're right next door to you. just shut up and show you the cars and stop crying about the track being closing down so Cool to, I don't know if that was an Edelbrock crate engine or. <laughs> Thanks, man. Did you do the crate engine or just put the supercharger on? Did you do the crate engine or just put the supercharger on? Actually, I did a, uh, well. I did the LS3 crate engine, the E-Rod, when it first came out. Oh, right on. And then uh, I got used to the power, so I decided I want more. Absolutely. And then I put the supercharger on. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I bumped up the boost, then I added that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and that snowball. It's beautiful, man. It was some investment company that bought the property, but it's going away. Sounds like the construction is going to happen pretty soon after they uh, get access to it. So. 
If you're a local racer, it's Holly Springs or Bahalia for sure. So I, I will support both of those tracks, especially Holly Springs. No, it wasn't Walmart. I can't remember the name of the investment company. If, if you search for it online, you should be able to find it. But it is going to be warehouse space. So. Yep, yeah, it is very sad. I guess somebody oiled the track down again, or they're between classes. One of the pro mods hit the wall a little while ago. So it was kind of quiet for a while, and I figured I'd walk around, but... This is a big car show. pick on the guy but I am not a fan of those thin thin air cleaners you gotta let that thing breathe There's a lot of wind here today, so they keep shortening the track down, or they shorten the track down. I think, I think they're only running eighth mile today. I might pop up to the track here in a bit, but uh, I'll go ahead and kill this one. I'm sure everybody's done hearing me whining about uh, the track closing down, so I appreciate it, guys.